Hello and welcome to Orange One Games. Today I'm playing an adventure map called The Tales of an Adventurer The Beginning. So I'm in the spawn and this is made by Shade Hater on the I got it from the Minecraft forums. So there you go. There'll be a link to the map to download in the description. So go ahead and download the map if well don't do that. Watch this video and then go and download that. Oh crap, I can actually destroy that. Who knew? So yeah. So let's just read the rules. Do not destroy any blocks you won't need to. Kind of adventure mode. I'm doing I'm in adventure mode because I can't break this block. Have fun. Opposite wall now. Um hit the following buttons before starting, so the time. Let's change my adventure mode. And set the game to peaceful. I don't know what that did. Oh, Oh, that started raining. Ah! Oh. Hit the button when you are ready to begin, and note the map will change time and mode based on the way the way the developers intended it to be. Please do not uh, alter st things. Blah, blah blah. Suggestions. I'm using this texture pack, which comes which they put in with the map, so it's quite useful. You don't have to find it separately. Uh, read all the books. Uh, okay. Visit forums and least least attention. If you use command blocks, oh, well, I do because otherwise these buttons wouldn't have worked. So yeah, so I was reading it on my head. But anyway, press that button, which is going to start it raining. So I'm sure I will cope. If not, I can just cheat it. And away we go. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, that was a little bit laggy. There we go. Ah, oh, it's at my spawn point. Oh, that's nice. That's useful. It's very useful. Chest. So, so this map is made for two people. It does tell you to play it with two people, but I'm playing with one person, as you can tell. And so we'll see how it goes. Short sum up. Okay. Let's just read these books. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I was never a traveller before. I was endeavoured a, a survivor on this place. My plane crashed into. Uh, into a mountain of sand. I managed to jump out with a parachute just in time, but a piece of my plane cut through it. I fell into the river. The river dragged me over and here, and I built this. As you can see, this house. I learned to hunt and build. Alright, so I fell out. I was in a plane crash, and I ended up in this random land, and I built myself a nice little house. And yeah, it's quite, it's quite a nice place I've done here. I've got a lovely picture, some paintings, some notes from loved ones I assume I've been uh, sending notes to. And then a, a kind of scary pain. I wouldn't want to go to bed sleep with that kind of looking at me. Would You, you wouldn't want to, would you? It's not the, the prettiest thing in the world. Well, no, it's, it's very good, but you know, it's a bit creepy. Same with that. I wouldn't want to go to bed looking at that. Anyway, the beginning. A couple of days ago, while I was out hunting, I saw a pyramid between the mountains of sand. For some reason, I was scared to death at the sight of it. I ran back here and I stayed at my bed for days. I still don't know why that happened to me, but I am going to find out. I will be going into that pyramid. Or I will be leaving notes everywhere I, ca I can, so in case I get lost. If anyone sees these notes, they will be able to come and find me. Off I go. So these are the notes that we will we will be reading, I assume. I assume that's referring to the mountain of sand that we crashed into. Then maybe that's why it's filled with fear, because it's the same mountain of sand. Okay, a stone sword, and off out into the world. And, ah, boat, and a note. There are two boats. I've built three. I've built three in case anything happened to one or two. Fortunately, nothing happened to either one of the three, but I had to get one in order to cross the river and get close to the mirror. I would be leaving torches at these strange pillars made of emeralds. Blood them in order to follow me. Alright, so we're following this guy then that's gone to investigate his pyramid. So we've actually discovered this, we're not the main guy, as it turns out. I read that bit wrong. So, yeah, plop down my boat. So yeah, you can tell it's made for modern, it's made for two people because there's a second boat here. In case I mess up, well no, so the other person can get a boat as well, but... Now, if I mess up, like here, no, I made it, then I've got a backup boat, and I can just follow these emerald lovely emerald um, pillars. It's pillars, yeah, that's the right word. Pillars in the water. It's very nice, isn't it? It's very nicely done. So I've been taught I need to slow down a bit here. It, I'm going through it very fast. I'm just conscious of, of 
hi. And you know, timings, because I can't upload, like, I can upload HD videos, the problem is it takes me an absolute age to upload them. Oh, what's this? Why is there a boat over here? Did, did something happen? Take my boat with me. Because if he's the only person around here, then why is there a boat here? Is that is that meant to be there? Or is it an accident? I don't know. I don't see anything. I don't see anything, so I'll just I'll continue. I'll take it with me. That's what I'll do. I'll bring the boat with me. So yeah, maybe that's a bit mysterious. There's a boat there. Maybe there's someone else here we don't know about. Maybe something happened. Well, no, because otherwise the torches wouldn't be here, because he said he'd leave torches. Oh, there's another bow. Ooh. Ooh. Following this river. I assume we're going over to that really big. Um, oh, damn it. I'll just run, because I can't want to get out of the bow. For RP sakes. But, yeah. It's a nice tech. I do like this texture pack, so I'm glad they put it in, because I've wanted it for a while. I never knew what it was called. Is this like a round? Oh, because we're in going into a desert. So we're meant to arrive here. So, yeah, look, I did. <laughs> I did arrive here. Look, so I, so I drove up. This is the big pillar I looked at. Is there any secret around this pillar? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Note 2. Just move out of the way to rain for a bit. Giant emerald pillar filled with torches and a docking bay. I've no idea how these got here. I, for sure, didn't feel totally comfortable with this adventure already, but I know I've got to go through with this. And you can reach the pyramid by following the cactus slash cacti. It's cacti. Well done for that. I would just throw cactuses. So, good job on knowing. Assumed I was. Just, oh. <laughs> that wasn't hard to find. See, if you weren't playing on long render since you get very lost following these cactuses. It's very nice, we've got a jungle there. This is the pyramid. It's very nice. It's a random a lot cropping in the pyramid, but you know. Set to normal. Oh, and that spawns some zombies. Ow. Hit. Oh. oh! Oh! That was a close one. It's just have a bit of bread. <sighs> have a sandwich. You know? Is this raw chicken? Damn it, that's just gonna poison me. Notes free. Uh, let's take that off there. There we go. Skeletons and zombies. Thank god I had those arrows with me. I for sure did not expect something like that. Exactly at the entrance of a damn pyramid. What stumbles me the most is that his pyramid this pyramid has nothing inside. It just has a hole in the middle. I'm going down there to see whatever is that here to be seen. At least it has stairs for me to climb up in case there is actually nothing down there. Imagine if it was empty. Imagine if the pyramid's empty. Imagine, what if we get to the bottom of the pyramid and there's just like a skeleton? And um, it's like the guys last up when I was it, and then like the walls close and we're trapped in there. And then like, and, and then like the walls start getting closer and eventually we just get crushed. That'd be horrible. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't want that to happen. There's nothing down here but an empty big chest. Although there seems to be a pathway blocked by sandstone, there is, l sandstone. There is a lever beside it, but I am afraid to pull it. Well, what the hell, I am going for it. Be careful for any traps that may appear. Oh, it's at the pizza. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I did not expect that. Uh, a pathway appeared indeed. Then we see some sort of mechanism that pulled the sandstone away. Although, this was not what, what surprised me. This seems to be a giant railroad. I cannot know where it leads, but I know for sure that I'm going to use one of these minecarts. I'll try to keep my eyes open for any traps that may be hidden along the way. Okay. So, off we... Oh! 
Oh, okay, bye bye, minecart. Bye bye. I'm sure we'll catch up with that minecart later. Um, but for, oh, am I in it? Yeah, there we go. Off we go. And, uh, so yeah, we just take in the surroundings. Of this and not to much sound a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, there we go. It's very loud. That's nice. Nice lighted way. Got there. Oh. There we go. Ooh, okay. Nice pal of mine carts there. Just a random. What's that? That random thing over there. And the house. This is you. Welcome to part two of the map. Okay. Sleep so you can have this as a spot checkpoint. Okay. I will sleep. <sighs> Lovely sleep. On the deer bedroom. Very nice. Oh, again, I wouldn't really want to go to sleep without staring at me. But I think it's better than that first guy who point was pointing. I think I'd rather sleep with a dragon. That sounds weird, then. I'd rather sleep with a dragon than a man. There you go. Okay, let's take this bread. Okay, um... From right to left, up left to right. Left to right, that's how you read, isn't it? Diary of Jack. Chapter 1. I saw it. A city in the air, filled with people. I am going to find a way to go up there. It looks magnificent. Chapter 2. They saw me blowing TNT at to blow it and helped me get up there. They set up a path of quartz, the ladder that went up to a small floating hill. I had to jump around a bit, something that scared me to death, but I did it. I went through the gates and saw very few houses, a restaurant, a bar and a blacksmith. I wanted to go see what's in the tower behind slash above the city. It's a giant tower, made of quartz. They were really trying to trying not to say anything about it. I am going to stick around them as much as I can to see if they will ever mention it. The sad fact is that they don't let me stay overnight. They have to get back here every night, but it's okay. Also, they put some sort of spell on my house. Every time I come in or out, it, it, out everything turns into night. I don't like that. Ooh. Chapter 3 Yes, after so long they let me sleep in the house with two floors. They even asked me to move in there. All I am tr taking are my clothes, nothing else. Everything I will ever need, they have it. It is amazing, I am actually really glad I will be leaving this damn house. This strange railroad always scares me a little bit. I will continue with my experiences with this magnificent city. With this diary is full. I am leaving now. Well, that's just a bit weird. I'll keep that to reference it. So some kind of city around here with a tower of quartz. Number six. I've reached a house after the really big sandstone, sandstone covered railroad. I am so happy that there was no traps on the way. I feel a bit, felt a bit claustrophobic, so I wouldn't really be able to react efficiently. I found a book in a chest that was under a glass plane that worked as a cloak. It had some notes of the previous inhabitant of this house. He spoke of some floating city made of quartz. I did notice a path made of quartz, but I really don't think that something like that could exist. Anyway, another strange fact is that every time I get out of this house, everything turns into night. I guess it has some sort of magic spell on it. I will rest, and then I will head off to follow this quartz path to find the mysterious floating city. Ha ha ha. There you go. We can leave that behind. They said there was some kind of secret chest around here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, we can smash the glass though. Bread. I'm leaving some bread behind me in case any poor soul ever comes by this place again. I'm going after the so-called floating city made of quartz. Just remember, follow the quartz path, I for sure will. There you go. And part one sum up. The traveller has entered the mysterious pyramid, went through a just, went through a just as mysterious railroad, and, and now he has learned about the floating city. The journey continues. Can you guess how it ends? I feel I might die. <laughs> Okay, so it's now night time. I'm on the road again. 